Scientists say it could be a triple threat. Sargasm, a certain type of seaweed, is washing up on some Florida beaches. And researchers think the presence of plastics in the water is creating a breeding ground for flesh-eating bacteria. News Channel 8's Jack Royer reports from St. Pete Beach. If you come to a beach like Passa Grill, you're not going to expect to see a giant blob of seaweed washed ashore, and thankfully it's not here, but beachgoers in South Florida are dealing with just that. It's called sargassum, and researchers think it could provide fertile ground for a flesh-eating bacteria. The tranquility of Florida beaches spoiled by sargassum. The stinky seaweed blob floating in mass, now washing up along South Florida's coastline. The amount of stuff that washes up on the beaches, beaches is, is just staggering. Dr. Frank Mueller Carger studies the stinky stuff at USF. It impacts tourism. It uh, affects uh, some of the health of people living right nearby the beaches. And some people want to know why and can we control it or can we use it? Researchers from Florida Atlantic University say Vibrio, a very common ocean bacteria, is finding a new breeding ground on the seaweed, thanks to plastics becoming more prevalent in water. It's complicated, and uh, it's just the scale is so, so big that it's very hard to think that we can even control that sort of thing. It can be seen from satellite images. Scientists aren't exactly sure what's caused the surge in recent years. The new research fears that sargassum and plastics mixing make the flesh-eating bacteria more prevalent. And now the Florida Department of Health says they're monitoring the changes, but says for now the Vibrio isn't concerning to them. I think the most important thing for people is to look out, open your eyes, and understand what you're seeing around you in terms of nature and how we fit into it. We depend on it. If we take care of it, we can make it better for ourselves. The health department says the same old rules apply. If you have an open sore or a cut, just stay out of the water entirely. But the good news for the west coast of Florida, sargassum is unlikely to affect us anytime soon because the deep waters where it likes to float are over 100 miles away. In Pasigrill Beach, Jack Royer, 8 on your side.